What is up, NFL fans? It's your host with the most, Team Rai Rai, and I have my good buddy here, and we are going to discuss our thoughts about Super Bowl 49. I know it's a week already, but this is the best time we could do it because my friend been busy, I've been busy with work and stuff around the house and all that good stuff. Okay, my friend, uh, let's discuss this first. I'm going to go first. Um, I picked um, C Seattle. Um, I lost and... My current record, the final record in my standings, is 150 wins and 116 losses. So overall, not a bad season. Um, tell everybody who you picked in the Super Bowl and tell everyone what's your final standings of the picks. Well, the team that I picked was the Seattle Seahawks. But we all know that they lost, and my overall record is 51 and 102. Okay. Both teams had great season, and frankly, the Super Bowl was very good. Way better than last year. I mentioned in my live reaction kind of thing, so check that bad boy out, my viewers. Um, did you enjoy the game, Justin? Yeah, of course, you know, I, I enjoyed the game because, you know, like I said on the other podcast and stuff like that, it's like these two teams are very disciplined. Um, these two teams are going to make it a tight scoring game, like very tight scoring, like we all seen at Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, you know, I wanted Seattle to win, but to be honest, I just wanted a good game. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah, and we got it, so. Yeah, so I, I can't complain, you know. It was, it was a good Super Bowl but with uh, the halftime, I don't know. I know there's some haters out there that uh, don't really like the halftime show, but in my opinion, I, I really liked it. You know, it, there was a lot of uh, creativity to yes. it, and uh, it was nice to see uh, Missy Elliott again. And man, she looks good right now. Hell yeah, she did. Um, and whoever attended the Super Bowl, you guys got you got a free concert. So lucky people, and it was kind of cool. They had the roof open. That was neat. Now I had reports prior to the event. They're going to have the roof closed. I guess they changed their mind, Justin. Oh, well, you know, I, I, to be honest, I didn't hear any news about that. But, okay. uh, but well, I I did not know that. Yep, and um, and probably you guys know already, Tom Brady got his fourth um, championship. He got his, um, was, I think he got his fourth MVP, right, for Super Bowl? Am I correct? Um, I think, oh, this will be his, um, this will be his third. Okay, four, yeah, okay, third. And, um, did he tie the record of Joe Montana or something like that? Or did he, uh, took the lead for that, uh, the MVP? Oh, uh, oh, he tied with, uh, Joe Montana and, uh, Terry Bradshaw. Okay, um... Now, a lot of people was very pissed off, especially Seattle Seahawks fans, how it ended. Now, we discussed this off podcast. Now, if I was Pete Carroll, he was going to go for like a um, like a pass. That should have been a fake. Then hand off to Marshall Lynch. Then it'll be a, a touchdown. Then it'll be over. Then Seattle will be the first team to win back-to-back -back since the Patriots. What's your thoughts on that, what I just said? You know, I was, you know, I was picking Seattle and happened to see that spectacular catch, you know, bobble catch from uh, Jermaine Curse. Oh, yeah. I said, man, this is, and then after that, they ran the ball with Marshawn Lynch very good to get to the one or the two. 
And then I said, you know what? This team's going to run up the middle. And it's over. Link, and they're going to score the game-winning touchdown. And it's over. Well, they went for a pass, slant, and then the wide receiver wasn't physical and they didn't want that ball. And it got intercepted. So, you know, dumb, dumb uh, play call. I don't know if it was Pete Carroll or the offensive coordinator, but I got to go as that is one of the worst plays in NFL history. Well, well, Justin, this can be more bad uh, calls in Super Bowl history, but this is the, the latest one. And I think... Um, Seattle will be back in the playoffs. I'm not too sure if they'll be back at the Super Bowl because it's very hard to get back to the Super Bowl three years in a row, you know? Oh, yeah. Last time who who done it three years in a row was the Buffalo Bills, but they lost. Um, they went there four years in a row, but um, that sucks they never won it. You know, at least Seattle won one. In, in, back in the 80s or... 90s and all them bad years, they're awful, Seattle. I remember, I remember those days, you know? Yeah, no, it's, it's crazy because, um, see, Seattle wasn't the most favorite. It was just like one of those, uh, you know, they're, they're going to add a win to our, to our column on the schedule. You know, they searched for that win as an automatic win, but, you know, fast forward, you know, decades after decades, Yep. You know, they're a very good football team, just like the Saints. Remember how the Saints used to be, you know, with the paper bags and being called the New Orleans Aints? Yeah, they're a joke. Yep. Yeah. And, and uh, same like, way, now it's the same thing for the Detroit Lions. I know this had nothing to do with the Super Bowl, but they're a joke. They're uh, over 16 for the first time ever in NFL history. They finally won some game, but they can't get over the damn hump, you know? Oh, yeah. But um, I really enjoy the game, the halftime. Now, usually, in the past, when the Super Bowl used to be a blowout, people liked it, um, uh, looking forward to the, uh, the halftime because it's more entertainment. Another thing I want to discuss is the commercials. The commercials was very good. The one I really like, the one that really stands out is the guy um, going to this um, video game called Pac-Man. And it's a Bud Light thing, and probably you saw that already on YouTube or whatever. I love that commercial. You know, see, you you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I actually like that one too. That is freaking awesome. They must have spent a lot, a lot of money to make that commercial. You know? Yeah, you know, those commercials are not not cheap. You gotta have millions and billions of dollars to get a good spot. Yep, and then most of them commercials, like, um, the day at the Super Bowl, they might reuse them, or they just might scrap it, you know? Oh, yeah. So, um, overall, I give the Super Bowl two thumbs up. Um, what's the rating on, on your thoughts on the Super Bowl on, 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 on this past Sunday? What's the rating for you, the rating? Uh, you know, I, I gotta give it two thumbs up, too, because, you know, not only the Super Bowl was great and filled with a lot of great plays and hits, but the halftime was on point. Um, I don't know, some people might disagree with me out there, but it was a good one. Um, and plus, the commercials were great. And not only that, but they showed some pretty good uh, movie trailers as well, like Transformers. Yep. Again. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, to your uh, Fast and Furious 7 or Furious 7 that they call it now. And, um, you know, the Jur Jurassic Park, which they call it World now, which I don't know why, but I guess they're trying to, you know, trying to go to a different direction with it. Yeah, that looks, that looks good. No doubt about it. But all three movies looks good and beyond does couple of superhero movies. I'm really surprised they didn't show no previews on it this year. You know, that's kind of bizarre, but whatever. But I, I'm, a, I'm a big movie fan, fanatic. You know, I hope a um, But let's get back to the game next year. I hopefully, I know this is sound crazy, 
uh, Bears make some wheeling dealing and hopefully they get to the playoffs for the first time since oh god been a while you know yeah I think the last time that the Bears went to the Super Bowl was uh, was in Miami and you guys were faced in uh, Indianapolis Colts I think that was in uh, 06 07 yes and that was a great year uh, you know we dominating. We just don't have a good quarterback. If we have better quarterback, like I know people are gonna hate me, Jay Cutler or something like that, we can win the damn Super Bowl. Not like Cutler, but a better mobile quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. But we will never know. But Rex Grossman was not the answer. You know. Oh yeah, Rex uh, Grossman at the time. You know, he was the only. He's the weakest link of that Chicago team. If it was like. Some other quarterback, then you guys would have possibly won that Super Bowl yep. because you guys had the tough defense. You guys had Erlacher, you guys had Nathan Thatcher, Lance Briggs, uh, Tommy uh, Harris. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. you know, and then you guys have a good offense too with, um, with uh, you know, t- like I think his name was Thomas Jones or Julius Jones. Thomas Jones, and we have um, Hester, and we had, um, I forgot who, oh yeah, we have Thomas Jones, the running back. We had a great squad, but we didn't win the damn Super Bowl, so hopefully, um, sooner or later, we could get back to the uh, freaking Super Bowl, but it's going to take time and effort to get back there, you know? Oh, yeah. Now, back to the game, um, I think it was a, the third highest watch of in NFL history and that was great you know everything was clicking the game was great the commercial was great and the halftime was great everyone out there had their own opinion you know yeah so um I really thought this game would be a freaking blowout did you thought it was gonna be a blowout or do you think overall it would be a close game overall Justin um, to begin with, you know, I thought this game would be close because, you know, like I said, um, these two teams are very disciplined on what they do. Um, they are both very, very, you know, high on details, and they don't give up a whole lot of stuff between these two teams. Um, you know, you may, you may get them on one or two plays, but... Not a lot. Do you think the Patriots will go back to throw? Not sure. Do you think it's way early to tell right now? I think it's way early right now, knowing the fact that the Buffalo Bills uh, are starting to uh, build something great down in our organization, and uh, Miami Dolphins are definitely growing as well. So uh, I think if I was the Patriots, you know, even though that our heads are in the clouds and we won the Super Bowl, you know, the Patriots seem to be focusing on, you know, you know, this upcoming season after they're done with their partying because Miami Dolphins, in my opinion, you know, isn't that far away from New England. So, so they got to watch out, New England, because... Uh, you know, as crazy as it sounds, Miami Dolphins, I wouldn't be too shocked if Miami Dolphins start getting a whole lot of wins and taking that decision. Yeah, for the first time ever. Um, but I guarantee uh, Tom Brady and company will be back. Now, this whole fight gate, I think it was just a bunch of bullshit. Um, I think media, I don't know what happened. Eventually, they're going to find out what happened. Frankly, I don't give a shit. And probably you don't either. And probably most of the NFL fans agree with me. Um, can you guys imagine if the Colts was in the Super Bowl? Or probably Seattle would be the shit out of Colts, you know? Yeah, you know, I believe you know, I, I believe the score would have been identical. Or Colts might win more, get like more points than Broncos did. But... I think Seattle would have automatically had that um, win, huh? That back-to-back victory. Yep. 
But it, it was, it's kind of cool for Seattle. It's kind of cool for Seattle. They're two time NFC champions, two time Super Bowl appearance, and one time Super Bowl winner. So you can't go wrong with Seattle. They had a great two two years in a row. They had two good seasons, you know? Oh, yeah. They, uh, they had a great, phenomenal two years, and, uh, and this is, uh, not only the beginning, because a lot of their guys are returning back to the roster, and they have a lot of cap space, like they've been having, so they can add more to their respective, uh, to, actually, to their team, so, you know, they have Richard Sherman locked in for a long time, um, they have Earl Thomas locked in for a long time, and a lot of their guys, have, you know, their extensions. So they'll be there for a while and the whole life salary cap. So I would be, you know, Seattle, uh, in, in my opinion, I think they have a good spot next year, but it depends on, you know, who Arizona Cardinals add to their football team and the returning of Patrick Willis and everybody on the 49ers. Yeah, another thing is speaking of Seattle again, they lost their defense guy. He's a new coach of, of Atlanta, so that's gonna hurt their their chances to get back to the promised lands. But they gotta find another guy and I don't know, probably a lot of Seattle Seahawks fans are kinda of bummed out because they lost to a tough uh, team, the Patriots. Um both teams had a great season and all that great stuff, Justin, you know. Yeah. And then uh, for the New England Patriots, you know, they're going to have some key free agents uh, hitting the free agency market. Yeah. Like, uh, like Revis, um, Patrick Chong, and uh, people like that. You know, they're going to hit the free agent market. And, um, you know, Patriots got to make a decision. Yeah. <sighs> Mm-hmm. But yeah, overall, the Super Bowl, like you said, it could have done all cylinders from a uh, perspective from halftime, commercials, everything seemed to click, and moments were made. Yeah, it's, yeah. Way, it's, it's way better than last year. Last year, last year sucked, last, you know? Yeah, last year totally did. Yeah, we don't get that too often. For a Super Bowl, usually a blowout. I remember back in the 80s and 70s, or especially in the 80s and 90s, every time they had a Super Bowl, it's a blowout, 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 you know? Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot to say something. Oh, did you watch the, uh, did you watch the Patriots uh, parade uh, recently on, on, on NFL Network or ESPN or YouTube? Did you watch it yet? Uh, no, but I happen to see pictures of, uh, Patriot players, um, like, uh, I seen LeGarrette Blunt holding up, a a t-shirt that was, a, like, he, that shirt was towards Marshawn Lynch, um, on that t-shirt it says, you know, you know, bitch mode on it, oh, wow. on that t-shirt. Oh, bitch mode? Yeah. Damn. For, uh. To Marshawn Lynch and um, and Mandela had a picture of Richard Sherman putting up four fingers. Damn. And then the caption said, "How many rings that Tom Brady has?" And that the <laughs> and they were making fun of uh, Sherman and you know and the other running back made fun of uh, Marshawn Lynch and they were having a ball with it, you know, showing you know not. They're showing that they don't have any class, but but they won't make it back next year. You don't think Seattle will be back to ball? You don't think so? Oh, I, I don't know if either one of these teams will make it back there unless, um, you know, if everything goes into their favor. I don't like think. Like they're the number one yeah, seed, but yeah, I, I don't, don't think. I don't, uh, sorry, I don't think Patriots to be back there or Seattle. I mean, I, I could be wrong. It's only February and anything can happen now until then, you know? Oh, yeah. 
So, um, I enjoy, I mean, I'm less than Super Bowl, uh, parade for the, for the Patriots, but when they land, I'm not too sure if you heard that, when they land, they had a huge storm in Boston area, so they have to, I saw on, um, uh, ESPN, um, they had to go to a hangar, and then, and then the guys could, um, um, get out of the plane that way. Do you hear about that? Oh, no, but, hey, that's crazy. Yeah. So, come on, it's a little snow. It's not like a big deal. Like, they play in that snow, so, come on, guys, man up. You know, Jesus Christ, you know? Yeah, no. You know, like, you figure those guys will be used to the weather because they play out there yeah. in those weather conditions and everything for so long that you feel... They should be accustomed to that weather. Yep, stupid. Now, next year will, will be Super Bowl 50, home of WrestleMania 31. Now, I know this is not a wrestling video. It's going to be a great uh, place for um, a Super Bowl, St. Clara. You know, I don't know who's going to be there. Um, and it's going to be a nice um, place for, um, for a um, Super Bowl. You know that next year? Oh, wow, hey, you know, it's a great location. Oh, yeah. Super Bowl 50. 50 years in the making next year. Holy cow. Yeah, no, long time. Okay, my friend, I think that's it for this. Um, our thoughts on Super Bowl and um, all that other stuff. Um, you want to say goodbye to your NFL viewers who's listening? Yeah. Well, I just want to say um, thank you guys for for joining the ride from week one of the regular season to the ending result of the Super Bowl. Uh, we appreciate you guys listening. You know, it was a great year for football, you know, even though your team is in the Super Bowl or not in the Super Bowl. All that matters is, you know, great moments were made and we got to see the game that we all love. But yeah, I just want to say good night and uh, hopefully you guys have a, a great, uh, great off season. Yep. Good, good luck with your uh, NFL teams this off season. If they make a splash, that's great. If they don't, then. So be it. So this is your host here, Team Ryan Ray, and my special guest, my good friend here, or one of my friends on YouTube. Justin. Yep. And follow him on Twitter. His link will be down below, my friend. So help him out. Give him more um, followers. Same thing for me. My Twitter name is Team Ryan Ray 32 So everyone have a good night, and we will see you next podcast edition. Thank you very much for listening. Good night.